Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we will show you the list of upcoming weapons of Russia that will enter service with the Russian armed forces in the future. Kalina Kalina is the Russian advanced laser system currently in the final stage of its development. It is designed to blind enemy satellites over Russian territory by permanently damaging their optical sensors. The latest report revealed that Kalina is currently being built at the Krona Space Facility near Zelenchuksaya in far southwestern Russia. Groom or Thunder It's a Russian future unmanned combat aerial vehicle and expected to join the Russian Air Force by 2025. Groom is designed to perform intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition, reconnaissance, and strike missions. It would also be capable of controlling a swarm of 10 small-sized drones in their reconnaissance and strike configuration. Its four hardpoints can employ a wide range of weapons, including the KS-38 air-to-surface missiles and guided bombs. Sukhoi S-70 Okhotanik B the S-70 is a stealth, heavy unmanned combat aerial vehicle currently being developed by Sukhoi. It was expected to achieve initial operational capability in 2024. According to the Russian state media, it can reach speeds up to 1000 km per hour while carrying its payload internally. This aircraft will be able to provide surveillance and reconnaissance along with strike capabilities at longer ranges. Tupolev Park DA It's the Russian next-generation strategic steel bomber currently under development by Tupolev. This aircraft is expected to enter service in 2027. It will complement and eventually replace the older Tupolev Tu-95 bomber. Park DA will be a subsonic platform with heavy payload capabilities that will include cruise missiles, precision bombs and hypersonic weapons. Mikoyan MiG-41 It's a 6th generation fighter interceptor project currently being developed in Russia as a part of the Park DP program. It will replace the MiG-31 in the Russian Air Force. This aircraft may cruise at a speed of at least Mark 4 and fly at high altitudes. The MiG-41 is also intended to carry anti-satellite and anti-hypersonic missiles. Orion 2 Helios it's a larger and upgraded version of the Orion unmanned aerial vehicles designed for reconnaissance and strike missions. The first flight is planned for 2023. This drone has a top speed of 350 km per hour and operate at altitudes up to 12 km. It has a flight endurance of 30 hours and a payload capacity of 300 kg. Carrier based 5th generation steel fighter. Russian MiG is reportedly working on the development of a 5th generation carrier-based steel fighter. This carrier-borne fighter jet could be a vertical or short takeoff and landing aircraft, meaning that it could operate from a ship smaller than conventional aircraft carrier. It is expected that the aircraft will be as big as the MiG-35. Sukhoi Su-75 Checkmate it's a 5th generation single-engine steel fighter aircraft under development by Sukhoi. Initial deliveries are planned for 2026 to 2027. It has a payload capacity of 7400 kg and reach speeds of up to Mark II. The fighter will also feature an internal vapors bay with 5 missiles and has 11 external hardpoints. Believe A100 it's a twin-engine, airborne early warning and control aircraft based on the IL-76MD transport aircraft. This aircraft is expected to enter service after 2024. It can detect aerial targets at a distance of 600 km and surface targets at 400 km. This aircraft can also provide airborne intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance and command and control for combat aircraft in air-to-air -air or air-to-ground attack missions. Illusion Park VTA It's a Russian next-generation heavy military transport aircraft currently under development for Russian Air Force. 
it is intended to replace the Antonov AN-22 and AN-124 heavy airlifter. The first flight is scheduled for 2024 to 2026. It is expected to have a payload capacity of 80 to 100 tons with a range of 500 kilometers. Ilyushin IL-276 it's a twin-engine, multi-purpose, medium-sized military transport aircraft currently being developed to replace the Antonov AN-12. The first unit is expected to be delivered in 2026. The IL-276 will be able to carry 150 soldiers or up to 20 tons of cargo. The range of the aircraft must be 2000 km with maximum payload and has a cruising speed of 800 km per hour. IL-112E It's a Russian light turboprop military transport aircraft that will replace AN-24 and AN-26 aircraft. This aircraft could carry up to 44 passengers. It will carry up to 5 tons of cargo and is designed to transport personal, military hardware and armaments. According to Russian officials, the program will continue despite its prototype crash in 2021. Kamov KA-65 It's a new anti-submarine helicopter currently being developed for the Russian Navy. It will be used for anti-submarine, search and rescue, transport and other roles. The Orlan is a ground effect vehicle currently under development for Russian Navy. It will be ready by 2027 and has the characteristics of both a ship and aircraft. The missile armed Ikranoplan will be used to protect the northern sea route such as the Barents. It could also serve for patrol, transport and search and rescue duties. A-235 It's a Russian mobile anti-ballistic missile and anti-satellite weapon system currently in development. The A-235 is intended to protect Moscow and important industrial regions from nuclear strikes. It can shoot down hypersonic attack weapons, hypersonic orbital platforms, ballistic missiles, as well as satellites in near space. Burvestnik or Skyfall It's a Russian nuclear-powered cruise missile, currently in development for the Russian armed forces. Russian sources claim that this missile could become operational in around 2025. This missile is clearly capable of carrying low-yield nuclear warheads, though it can also be fitted with conventional warheads. It is said to have unlimited range and ability to evade missile defense. RS-28 Sarmat It's a Russian silo-based super-heavy intercontinental ballistic missile. Currently in development, Sarmat is expected to enter service by the end of 2022. With a range of 18,000 km, it is capable of launching nuclear warheads anywhere across the globe. This ICBM has a payload capacity of around 10 tons and can carry up to 10 to 15 MIRV warheads or 24 avant-garde hypersonic boost guide vehicles. Once operational, the RS-28 Sarmat will become one of the most powerful ICBM in the world. Zircon It's a Russian anti-ship hypersonic cruise missile scheduled to be operational by the end of the year. Zircon is capable of flying at 9 times the speed of sound and has a range of 1000 km. Initial launch platforms for these missiles are surface ships and submarines. Zircon are designed to engage surface ships, carrier battle groups, as well as land-based targets. It can even carry nuclear warheads and is impossible to intercept with existing air defense system. Poseidon Poseidon is a nuclear-powered unmanned underwater drone. It is capable of delivering both conventional and nuclear payloads. Essentially, it's an autonomous nuclear torpedo that has unlimited range. This weapon can generate a radioactive tsunami that can not only destroy coastal facilities including shipyards and naval bases, but also pose a significant threat to the carrier fleet. Up to six such drones will be carried by Russia's new Belgorod special submarine. 
T14 Armata. It's a Russian next generation state of the art main battle tank. However, by 2022, this tank was not yet in service with the Russian army. This tank is armed with a 125mm smooth burger with fully automated loading system. Its unmanned turret carries a total of 45 rounds of ammunition and can also fire laser guided missile. The T14 is reported to be faster and more mobile than the most existing tanks. It has advanced features like remote control turret, an armored crew compartment, radar systems, 360 degree cameras, active protection systems, and high degree of passive and active armor protection. T15 Armata It's a Russian heavy infantry fighting vehicle based on the T14 tank hull. T15 is expected to replace the BMP-2 and MTLB based platforms of the Russian ground forces. It has unmanned turret and armed with a 30mm cannon, coaxial 7.62 machine gun and 4 Cornet M anti-tank missile launchers. This heavily armored vehicle is designed to deliver infantry and provide fire support to troops at the battlefield. It can run at a maximum road speed of 70 km per hour with a maximum cruising range of 550 km. Boomerang It's a modular amphibious infantry fighting vehicle and armored personal carrier being developed for the Russian army. There are two versions of the Boomerang 8x8 vehicle. The K-16 armored personal carrier lightly armed with a remote weapon station with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun and the K-17 infantry fighting vehicle heavily armed with a remotely controlled weapon station with a 30mm cannon and coordinate anti-tank missiles. It can accommodate 7 to 8 passengers. Kurganets 25 It's a multi-purpose track platform being developed for the Russian army. There are two versions of the vehicle. A heavily armed infantry fighting vehicle carrying 6 to 7 troops and a lightly armed APC carrying 8 troops. The infantry fighting vehicle variant features the Boomerang BM remote control turret with its 30mm auto cannon, a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and 4 Cornet anti-tank guided missile. But its APC variant is armed with remotely controlled 12.7mm machine gun. New Aircraft Carrier Russian media reports indicates that the construction of a new aircraft carrier is being considered for the new estate armament program for 2024 to 2033. Work is currently underway to assess the financial and technological risk in the construction of such a ship. Russia's carrier prospects are dicey, but if the ship makes it to the sea, it will be much better than their current aircraft carrier. Project 23900 it's the newest class of Russian amphibious assault ships currently under development at the Jalif shipyard in Crimea. The two vessels will be delivered to the Russian Navy in 2026 and 2027 respectively. In addition to 16 helicopters, it will carry up to 4 S-70 reconnaissance and attack unmanned aerial vehicle. The new warships will also carry up to 900 marines along with 75 armored fighting vehicles and 4 landing or assault boats. Project 545 Laika It's a series of nuclear-powered 5th generation multi-purpose submarines currently under development for the Russian Navy. The first submarine is expected to be built by 2027 to 2030. It will likely be armed with a cruise and hypersonic missiles along with torpedoes. Kaba Rose class or Project 09851 It's a class of nuclear submarines under construction for the Russian Navy. Surface displacement is reported to be around 10,000 tons. This class is designed to carry six Poseidon long-range nuclear torpedoes. In addition to torpedoes, it will likely carry anti-ship and land attack missiles. LIDAR class It's a class of stealth nuclear-powered guided missile destroyers under consideration for the Russian Navy. It will be larger, highly advanced and heavily armed. In total, they should carry a combination of at least 200 missiles of different variants like cruise missiles, anti-submarine missiles, hypersonic missiles and S-500 air defense systems. 
In addition, it will also carry torpedoes and up to two medium-sized helicopters. The head of the United Shipbuilding Corporation reported that the project was still moving forward despite earlier reports of cancellation. Project 22350M Super Gorsko It will be the upgraded variant of Admiral Gorsko class frigate with an increased displacement of 8000 tons. 12 vessels are planned and the first ship is expected to be laid down in 2024. It will feature 120 vertical launch cells for surface-to-air missiles, anti-submarine missiles and cruise missiles including hypersonic. Additionally, it will also carry torpedoes and helicopter. Project 20386 It's the newest class of corvettes being constructed for the Russian Navy. Series of at least 10 such corvettes will be built and expected to enter service in 2023. It will feature surface-to-air missiles, anti-submarine torpedoes and caliber or Onyx anti-ship cruise missiles. Project 23550 It's a class of armed ice-breaking patrol ships for the Russian Navy and Russian border guards. The first ship is expected to be commissioned in 2023. The ships will be equipped with two high-speed Raptor patrol boats, a KA-27 helicopter and a small hovercraft. Its armament includes a 76.2mm naval gun and caliber NK anti-ship missiles. Yevpate Kolvrat It's a modern icebreaker currently under construction at Almaz Ship Building Company for the Russian Navy. The vessel is scheduled to enter service with the Northern Fleet in 2022. With a displacement of 4000 tons, the icebreaker will be able to reach speeds of up to 14 knots. The ships do not receive a standard armament, but it can be installed if necessary. Project 23131 It's a series of replacement oilers currently under construction for the Russian Navy. It's a heavier version and further development of Project 23130 replenishment oiler. The new vessels will be designed to store and transport fuel as well as dry cargo to surface ships and submarines. Project 03182R It's a new research vessel of Russian Navy currently under development. Two research ships, Leonid Bekrenev and Boris Popkov were laid at the Jelnodalus part. It is designed to conduct complex oceanographic studies of the world's ocean and self-zone. 